is very very you know exciting it's like it's really like you have the freedom to be yourself i have been walking around manhattan in this dress nobody even gives me a second look One out of every six human beings that walks the face of this earth is of Indian origin. If we are looking to uplift the economic level of the world, helping educate a child in India or helping empower a woman in India does in fact affect the whole world. Partition uh, very literally drew lines of division between people who had lived together for many, many years and it forced Hindus to leave their homes if their homes happened to be in a region that became predominantly Muslim. It forced Muslims to leave their homes if their homes happened to be in areas that were predominantly Hindu. My father, um, Andrew Lee, was a pioneer in his own right because he, he expanded the um, insurance business so that he had influence outside of Chinatown. When I first came to the United States, I couldn't get a fellowship the first year in an English department, although I was a, a very fine student at the University of Calcutta, because I was not a native English speaker. There was no multiculturalism then, no feminism, no nothing of that sort. Then I bought a book of a catalogue by Jacques Derrida, de la Grammatologie, and I was so taken by it that I thought that I would write a little book on it. The sort of big reputation of deconstruction as an Indian who knew English literature from the inside, criticizing uh, the British in a way that was different from just love me because I'm South Asian. Uh, the Portuguese, the English, they initially came to India because of the spice trade. And then after that, they started seeing the other resources in the country and they started using those too. So the commercial yellow curry powder you get is what was made for the British when they left India. So they had something to, you know, remember the, uh, the old country. But in Indian food, any meat, fish, vegetable, which is cooked with a sauce, and a spice in it is a curry. There's no one standard spice mix for a curry. It's every home or every cuisine has the various blends of, of spices that they use to make a curry. And one curry could vary from one state to another. I was a young nun. I just made my religious vow. I was assigned to work in Chinatown. Most of the uh, residents in Chinatown proper couldn't speak English. Uh, some of them couldn't even read or write Chinese. Uh, we still have uh, people sitting on the uh, roadside writing letters for them back to old China. I just thought there's no better place uh, to have me train as a dedicated woman just by looking at them, you know, learning the lessons from them. After two, three months, I thought the best service I can offer to the neighborhood was not to found uh, 201st Association. So. I thought, why don't I put on a play? That's how my whole theater career started. The people's government never killed a single person by mistake. His execution is the absolute proof of his guilt. You know if you come to a Puerto Rican house, that day is going to be food. You don't have to say come for dinner. You know you're going to eat. We like to welcome people. And one of the ways we know to welcome people is to feed them. The most common type of food for us is rice and beans. That's the traditional diet of the Puerto Ricans. 
if you don't have rice and beans, we feel that we have an aid. We cook rice in a hundred different ways. Yellow rice, arroz con gandure, arroz con maíz, arroz con pollo, arroz con caramare. You name it and we made it. Nobody could do it like us. I came here in 93, there were a lot of questions floating around about identity. I found that people were curious about what it meant to be a Muslim woman. And I was equally curious, you know, that kind of like shift only happened when I stepped outside of Pakistan. The miniature painting comes from book illustration, manuscript, um, illuminated manuscripts, dates back to early Italian Renaissance painting and then evolved in India. Miniature painting is very, very seductive, it's very exoticized. They once asked the Buddha, who are you? Are you God? He said, of course not. Are you the son of God? No. Are you a saint? No. Are you a holy man? No. Then what are you? He said, I'm awake. I go through this ceremony every day when I open up my eyes and I recite that famous prayer in my tradition, Mode Ani Lefunehu, thank you God, I'm alive. You all experienced that this morning, didn't you? And because I'm alive, I'm so happy to be here this morning. This holy company over here and the holy listeners over there. It's so good to be alive. Of course, in my age, I'm happy to be anywhere. <laughs> but I'm certainly happy to be here this morning. <laughs> Most of the time I'm awake, but sometimes I'm also asleep. Not only at night, during the day. When my students see me during the day and I have my eyes closed, they're sure I'm meditating. I'm actually sleeping sometimes. <laughs> Hinduism basically is a way of life. It's not a, actually a religion per se. It's also called Sanatana Dharma. That means anyone who is good to himself, his fellow beings, and also does community and social service is a Hindu. And I suppose that almost includes the entire humanity who could be considered themselves as Hindus. This perception in this country that Hindus worship idols is a wrong perception. It's idol worship only because we perceive the Lord in that image. 